I'm gonna take a trip today in our Chevy Volt. It's a 2012 and it's a premium package. So I'll give you guys a quick rundown on what it's like to live with this car. By having the premium packages, you do get the backup camera. And this is 2012, so the backup camera has lines on it. And with some reason, the newest ones don't. So this is what our car charges to um, fully at about 28 to 32 miles. And no matter how efficiently I drive it, it doesn't really get much higher than that. So that's one of the disadvantages once these cars get older is you do lose some range. Don't let people tell you that this car is perfect with GM's technology where they don't let you charge it above 60% and it doesn't lose range. Yep, it loses range. And I drive it in ideal conditions. My wife hates the fact that I drive it in ideal conditions because I drive it when I drive the climate in fan only or eco. We're gonna use eco today because she's in the car with me, so she doesn't like it when it's fan only, it gets too hot. So eco still gives you some, some AC. Surprisingly okay, uh, in our first kilowatt hour that we've used, we've gone about 3.6, 3.7 miles. And I found personally that I usually can't get more than three miles out of the first kilowatt hour. Uh, this is a measure of efficiency, so like watt hours per mile is what uh, we try to calculate and uh, so 250 watt hours per mile would be four miles per kilowatt hour and uh, that's the that's the goal I strive for around city driving I think 250 kilo um, watt hours per mile in a small car like this um, is ideal um, in my Tesla um, you know I expect to use more but it's a bigger car um, and uh, this is a much smaller car. Uh, doing okay. Um, I'm just pleasantly surprised. Uh, I think we might get good range. Uh, I'm hoping to crack 30 miles. But uh, you can see the traffic is ideal. I mean, you know, um, I'm going 46, uh, not going too fast. You know, there's not too many people in front of me, but there is some traffic. Some traffic is good because it cuts down on the wind resistance in front of me. If this is a completely empty road, then, you know, I have to do all the wind resistance, uh, breaking down the wind resistance uh, or the air resistance myself. Cars in front of me going slowly, not going really fast, going the same speed as me, um, actually break uh, the air resistance, break the wind flow, actually makes it easier for my car. So not too much traffic, but there's a little bit of traffic. Uh, there is a quarantine kind of lockdown, but I am going to get some essential parts for my business, so uh, we can be out. Stop by Starbucks to get some coffee, but unfortunately it looks like they are closed. I think they are open usually, even in this lockdown. Oh, they're only open till one. That's kind of an inconvenient timing, but all right. You know, Starbucks today. This light kind of snuck up on me, so I had to get really inefficient there. When <laughs> it drops all the way down there to the yellow, because this light just went went yellow and red pretty quickly, so I didn't have time to slow down. That kills the efficiency, and it kills me on the inside. Since we're waiting at this light, uh, I just wanted to comment on the, how comfortable the car is and what the space is like. Got plenty of headroom here. Uh, I'm 6'1", and yeah, plenty of headroom. But in the back, things get really cramped, actually. Um, there's not much space back there. Um, uh, as you can see, the roof slopes down a bit, and um, the leg room is very, it's not the best. Um, and you can only fit four people in here. So um, it's definitely not as practical as something like a Prius would be. Another stop. And so this is what driving an L does. Um, you can see the car slowing down pretty aggressively. Put it in drive, it doesn't slow down as much. So it just gives you more regen. It doesn't really do anything other than that. Just pop it back into L and the car will just start to... You can feel that. I'm sure you can even see it in the video, but it just starts to slow down. And then it almost one touch, I mean one foot driving. Once it's three miles per hour, you gotta tap on the brake, otherwise you're running into some driving. Efficient driving in general is all about anticipation. You never wanna touch that brake pedal if you can avoid it. So I'm not accelerating anymore. I've pretty much got my foot lightly off the brake pedal, coming to a stop slowly. It's regening. And the advantage of that is, um, as well, it's better than coming to a stop. If you can stop ahead of time, and maybe get to traffic and see I'm at 30 miles per hour and I've rejoined traffic. I'm not stopping all the way to zero, starting back up again. I've somewhat maintained my speed. I'm carrying that momentum forward with me. So it's all by anticipation. Um, and region is actually bad. Uh, the ideal circumstances, if you see traffic slowing down in front of you, what you do is you put the car in neutral. 
uh, and you just glide. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to regen because it's actually inefficient, less more inefficient than just gliding. Maitland, Florida, and uh, this right here used to be my favorite sushi place, but now it's like a steakhouse, and uh, they don't sell sushi, so it sucks. Hot donuts. <laughs> oh man, look at this line though. Jeez. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it is 7.38. I've actually already picked up, uh, I, I had to pick up some parts from uh, from the Ford dealer, which is the reason we left. So I've already done that. This box of donuts. <laughs> it's, it's very complicated technology. Difficult, very difficult. Yeah, all right. Because we're fat and we can't wait. We're gonna eat them in the car and make a mess and then you know get, to, get ants all over the car. So that's perfect. If you ever wanted to see a fat guy eat some donuts, here's your chance. Good donuts. Even though we missed out on the Starbucks earlier, uh, we're in luck. There's a Starbucks here close by, so we can have some coffee and donuts. This one's open. Yeah, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Now that's a proper time. And not too long of a line either. So, ah, uh, flash. They only had iced coffee for some reason. They said they didn't have hot coffee, even though know, I figured they use hot coffee to make iced coffee, right? Or regular coffee, coffee beans. This coffee's not that hard to make. But yes, there was no regular coffee. So we got iced coffee. So 100% efficiency on a driving style. So I've, I've been driving pretty carefully and the climate setting, because the AC that was on at 73%. Uh, otherwise, it would have both been 100%. So I've been driving this thing really efficiently and uh, we are actually getting a little bit better than 250 watt hour per mile. Maybe this is like 200 and, I don't know, 30 or 40 watt hour per mile. But uh, doing pretty well. Uh, this is close to as efficiently as you can drive this thing. My car has bigger wheels on it. So if it was a regular stock Volt um, driving this way, you would actually get, do even better. You'd get even better efficiency than this. The trip is coming to a close. Uh, I've only got two miles left um, on my on my range here, and we've driven 30, almost 31 miles. So you might be wondering, hey, why did you say that you know the battery doesn't last as long because the volts rated for 35 miles? And it seems like I'm almost getting that 30 miles, 31 miles driven, two miles left, about 33 miles. The problem is, look at this efficiency. I've been driving this car very efficiently and this kind of driving, if the battery was in tip top shape, would have netted me more than 40 miles of range. Um, people, the way that I drove today, when people drive this way, they get 45 miles of range even. Um, so that's where the bummer is. So you said uh, we've switched over back into gas and I got 32.7 miles, that's it and that's 7.3 kilowatt hours. 10.3 is what it's rated for when it's new. So if you think about it, I only got about 71% of what I'm supposed to be getting. That's 29% battery degradation. Unfortunately, my car is not under warranty because it has 140,000 miles on it. Otherwise, um, 70, I believe, yeah, it's right on the border of what would be considered, um, you know, uh, warranty replaceable uh, battery. So that's, I mean, you know, I mean, the car runs fine. It's a great car, but uh, you know, battery life just takes a hit with age. 